Namaste, my dear friends. In the last video, we analyzed the differences between the Vedic chanting and bhajans and kirtans, which are devotional songs. Now, in the traditional times, Vedic chanting was accessible to everyone. And uh, there are references in the traditional texts like the Ramayana, Mahabharata, etc., where you find instances where women and other castes apart from Brahmins were also doing Vedic chanting. However, as history evolved, especially after the introduction of what is called Manu Dharma through the Manu Smriti, Vedic chant was more and more exclusive and was reserved only for Brahmin men and especially only those Brahmin men who were initiated to the sacred thread ceremony that <clears throat> is very very important qualification for recitation of Vedic mantras. They were initiated the secrets of the Vedic mantras, how to do the Vedic mantras in ritual, how to do the Vedic mantras in the form of healing etc. And this was a tradition that was practiced by them and was passed down from one generation to another in a very sacred as well as secretive manner because these mantras have great power and when it is abused can be very harmful for <clears throat> a lot of people. So Vedic chanting traditionally is not open for everybody and it is reserved for a certain uh, section of people only. However, Acharyas like T. Krishna Acharya took compassion on the society and in the 1980s started opening the doors of Vedic chanting to different kinds of people and made it much more accessible for all. However, this was reserved to the recitation of mantras and simple meanings of the mantras only and not the Vedic procedures of how to use them in ritual, how to use them in the form of mantra through the different gestures, the nyasas and the mudras etc. which are important prerequisites for mantra practice. But they did open the doors of Vedic chanting to all so that they can benefit from the sacred vibrations. So today, it is possible that anybody can access Vedic chanting as a chanting exercise, as a way to express their voice and find their true voice. And this is thanks to teachers like Acharya K. Krishnamacharya who open these doors in a very magnanimous manner so that everybody can benefit from Vedic chanting today. Namaste, my dear friends.